Hey guys, it's Christopher and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. It will be about timers, so how to make a scripted action but with a delay. So do some something um, in the future. Let's start with a very simple example. So I've prepared this map, which is actually the same map as after the chapter that was about dynamic tiles. It was chapter 18. Uh, and we will use it for our second example. But first, let's make a very simple um, example of timer. So this uh, simple example of timer will be the following. Um, when the player presses this button, we will play a sound, but uh, we will play the sound three seconds after. So I will show you how to do that. Um, what's the name of this button? What else? Switch. Let's call this simply switch. So function switch on activated. By the way, switch is not a keyword in Lua. Um, this is different, different from most languages. There is no switch in Lua, so there is no problem to call your variable script, um, switch. So normally you would do something like sol audio play sound secret, for example. And we can already try that. Chapter 18. Um, 20. 18 was about dynamic tiles. Um, okay. Doesn't even work. Switch. Save, save. Which is a nil value. Apparently, I I forgot to save the map. Okay, so this is a normal action. Doing something when the player presses the button. So if you want to do the same with a delay, you can see the documentation about timers, but it's sol.timer.start and first you put the delay in milliseconds so let's say 3 seconds it will be 3000 milliseconds and the second parameter is should be a value of type function so you can either do an, anonym, an anonymous function like this like we did for our timer um for dialogue callbacks for example so you pass a value of type function to the timer and solaris will execute your function later when this delay is finished okay it works good so, you know how to do a timer. <laughs> it's very simple. Um, of course, you can also use a function stored into a name. So, this means a variable of type function. Place on, let's call this function, place on secret. So. <laughs> Just a, fu a simple function like this, and here, so you can you have to pass a value of type function. So as I was saying before, it can be an an anonymous function like we did, or a function stored into a variable, and the variable name is place on secret.
Okay, so of course here you you should put a value of type function so no parentheses like this. If you do that you are executing this function right now so you will hear immediately the sound and since this function returns nothing actually you are calling a timer with no second parameter and this cannot work you will have an error message so first we hear we heard the sound and secondly the error message is saying a function expected got no value so okay play uh, sound secret Okay, now, um, how can you do a timer that r repeats itself? You could do um, something like that, oh, like calling a new timer again with the same function. It will work, it would work, but since um, Solaris, I think 1.2, you can actually simply return um, true or false and if you return true the timer will repeat itself with the same delay so now every three, sec three seconds we should hear the timer okay so I think you get the ID so I can close this now. Okay. Mm. Now, what happens if you leave the map while a timer is active? Let's try to leave the map and go to the second map I prepared, default destination. Oops, timers, default destination. So, most of the time, what you want is your t is to stop all timers when the when you change maps. Because most of the time you will use timers to make some kind of puzzle uh, some kind of puzzles inside a map or things like that or timers associated to enemies but it's less frequent to make to need timers um, that persist when you change map but if you want that's possible and I will show you how to do that right now actually there is a, a first optional parameter to this function and this first optional parameter is called the context of your timer it can be used to limit the, the lifetime of the timer and by default it's the map when you don't specify it it's the map and that's why the timer was stopped was cancelled when we left the map but you can uh, give some other kind of objects, for example the game. You can read the documentation to see uh, what's possible exactly, but often you will put the map or the game. You can also do this on, on an enemy, but we haven't seen enemies yet. So, now the context is the game. So, I can change maps but since I st um, the game is still running, it's still the same game, the timer continues. And I don't have save and quit to return to some title screen, but if I had that, the timer would stop when you quit the game and return back to the title screen, because the context is the game. So the context defines the lifetime of your timer. Um okay. 
So I think that's it for this first example. I was saying it's a, it's a simple example, but you have you already have two uh, um, additional informations. So the context of the timer and how to repeat a timer. Okay, so for the second example, um, let's do the same thing as in chapter 18. If you haven't seen chapter 18, we it was about dynamic tiles and we made this dynamic tile disappear when the button is pressed. So what we did was something like water switch no water tile set enabled false and play sound um water drain So this was essentially chapter 18 and now we want to remove the water gradually using timers. So the simplest way to do that is probably to make several tiles. Um, yes, one, two, three and four. Water tile 1, water tile 2, water tile 3, and water tile 4. Um, 2, 3, and 4 are not enabled at start, but the 1 is. <coughs> and what we want to do is start a timer. And every, let's say, uh, half a second, we remove um, our first, we remove water tile, we disable water tile 1, set enabled true, no false, and we enable water tile 2, water tile 2. <laughs> and true, okay. And we can do nested timers like this. So that's a way to implement this this water puzzle. So two and three, and then. 3 and 4 and then last one just disabling uh, number 4 and also play a sound you've solved the puzzle secret okay and 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 <laughs> so nested timers it's not very it's not the most readable solution but it's the easiest one and it works and I don't remember what was in this chest flippers maybe nothing <laughs> it was just a decorative chest and this one the flippers so uh, we can do this in a more elegant way using the timer repeating feature actually let's put uh, let's make a separate function water drain or remove water and let's store the index of our water tile of the current water tile so um, zero. Um, no, there is no zero. The first one is one. 
So, in our local function, we will want something like this, and our timer will only call this function. Again, I'm giving the function value. I'm not calling the function right now. That's why there is no, there are no parentheses like this. And uh, so we have a very slight problem here. We would want to build the name of this variable dynamically. So we can't directly access it like that. We have to do the full version, which is map get entity water tile and the concatenation operator is um, dot and dot water tile index <coughs> set enable false and the second one we have to test if it exists so let's um, make a second variable tile map get entity and the same thing, but in the meantime we will increment this. Okay, and now if this tile exists, so it is not nil, map get entity returns nil if there is no entity with this name. So if it exists, um, what should we do? We should disable, um, enable it. Set enabled and repeat the timer. So we can directly return true to repeat the timer. And in the other case, the tile. Uh, does not exist. It was the last tile. Stop. So this is where we want to play the secret sound. Okay, and return false. Don't repeat the timer. Okay, it works. So, I think that's it for timers. I hope you enjoyed this. Timers, and you will find them very useful to implement uh, all sorts of puzzles and also for enemies. But we will see enemies in a future chapter. Okay, thank you. Thank you all for watching. And don't hesitate to like the video. And see you next time. Bye.